what is the best liquid culture recipe? There's hundreds of different recipes out there. You can get as complex as all the micronutrients or as simple as organic honey. So I'm gonna choose three different recipes, explain why, and then we're gonna figure out what the best one is. What's up, mushroom fam? It's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. Today is all about liquid cultures, and I'm gonna go through my experiment to figure out what the best liquid culture recipe is. Before we do that, if you'd like to get some liquid cultures, go check out our Etsy shop, Fresh Fungi. The link is in the description below. So behind me in my flow hood, I've got three different liquid culture recipes. So the first one I did is a 3% organic honey water. So I've got some organic honey from a local uh, beekeeper over in Boulder. And basically I just added 3% by volume to my half gallon jar. And then I sterilized it for 20 minutes at 250 degrees uh, and then 15 PSI and allowed that to cool. And then also, if you can see behind me, I've got a triptych soy broth. They're very typical in uh, microbiology research. The reasons why I chose these three are number one, the price. So the honey is going to be the cheapest out of all of them. So then the next cheapest is going to be triptych soy broth. And then the uh, buffered peptone is going to be the most expensive and the most refined uh, media. Another reason why I chose these three liquid cultures is based on their complexity and how much they're challenging the mycelium. The principle of this experiment is I'm going to inoculate all three of these jars at the same time and then I'm going to agitate them once a day and just take pictures and observations throughout the next couple weeks to see what culture is doing the best. Um, I could take it a step further and then grow them all out. But basically this experiment is going to be based on growth during the liquid culture phase. And this is important if you're a vendor or if you're a mushroom farm and you're looking for rapid growth and expansion of your cultures. So I'm going to be inoculating Niagara Falls lion's mane into these liquid cultures, which is getting me ready for the busy season ahead. So starting with my first recipe of 3% honey water. So this is one of the most tried and true liquid culture recipes. I prefer it over the other ones up until this point because it's cheap and it's all natural. Honey has a mixture of different sugars and different micronutrients and different antimicrobial properties like uh, propolis. So it has a variance of nutrients, which is going to challenge that mycelium and it's going to have to use all of its different enzymes to break down those sugars and continue to grow. Now, this could be a challenge that delays the growth, which we won't find out until the end. So this has a casein protein and a soy precursor, which is relevant to my farm because in the bulk substrate, I use soy hulls. So the idea of this second recipe is that it's going to prepare the mycelium for advanced feeding in the bulk substrate stage. Also, it's more refined than the honey. So it's uh, a concentrated triptych soy powder, which is lab grade. So it's going to have less contaminants and therefore it's going to be less challenging for the mycelium to grow. So this is the most refined recipe. It has peptone, which is a precursor to the proteins that the mycelium will normally use to develop its mycelium. 
So in essence, I imagine this liquid culture as having all of the bricks readily available to build the mycelium just floating all around as opposed to the triptych soy or the honey where the, the mushroom has to break down these macronutrients by using its enzymes. So my hopes are that the peptone is going to be the most rapid growth. At least that's my hypothesis because it has the most micronutrients and it's the most refined and it's lab grade. So you can tell by the clarity of the solution that it's a very pure product. The next stage is to inoculate these jars and then agitate them and see what happens. All right, so we're gonna flip the camera around and I'll go through the procedures on how to inoculate these jars and I'll be posting updates daily or weekly, however fast they decide to grow. Um, I'll see you on the other side. So it's almost been two weeks, and I would say the honey has significantly more growth. All right guys, so it's been about a month since I started the liquid culture experiment with the honey water and the peptone broth and the triptych soy broth. And you know, there's a definite winner here with as far as the honey goes. You can see that this jar really took off after about a month. And the other jars are starting to show some more mycelium, but it's definitely delayed. So I think that the honey is definitely um, the best liquid culture for this strain. And I encourage everyone to try experiments like this with their own strains because maybe you can optimize growth just by changing a simple recipe.